Also, family waiting on their stimulus payment could wait much longer than expected. They found out it was stolen. Our Sierra Pizarro went to work to see what can be done to help. Crystal Phelps and her husband have two children and two fur babies. Yeah. Oh, good. The $3,400 stimulus payment they were ready to get would have gone a long way. Phelps found out someone stole her identity and filed her 2019 taxes. So somebody somewhere has your tax refund and the stimulus payment. Mm-hmm. I mean, they only got a $46 tax refund because what they filed is not the amount we file. Her stimulus money was delivered a week ago to an account she doesn't recognize. That's not our bank account number and we've never seen it. We've never had it, not any bank. And then you don't have any other options. You just exit is your only option out of that page. One of the first calls Phelps made was to her accountant. When my accountant was like, this just happened to the person that called me right before you. And the only way to correct it is to file your taxes and let the IRS flag your account. So that's what she did. But waiting for the IRS to correct the issue could take up to half a year. I try to stay positive. I don't know how they got my information. It could have leaked from anywhere and help seems scarce. IRS phone lines are closed. At this time, we are unable to provide live assistance due to reduced Staff levels. This while data thefts from tax professionals rise. Online, the IRS warns of cyber criminals taking advantage of COVID-19. They urge the tax community to take extra steps to secure information while they investigate. That means using security software and virtual private networks. Phelps says she'll reach out to 211 Eastern Oklahoma for other resources. Luckily, I had some savings. We're living on that, but I mean, We'll make it halfway through May before we run out of money. I'm Sierra Pizarro, two works for you.